Hi guys, today in this video I will talk about the matrices. In the future you will see some applications of matrices in computer science, physics and chemistry. Uh, in mathematics we will use the matrix to calculate the integral of multivariable functions, to solve the linear systems of equations and to define the eigenvalues of operators. But the main question is what is the matrix? Okay, let's look at the definition. The definition says that matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, symbols, and expressions. Example, A is 1, 2, 5, 2, 3, 4. This is an example of the matrix. And you see here we have 1, 2 rows and 1, 2, 3 columns. And this type of matrix is called 2 times 3 matrix. 2 shows the number of rows, 3 shows the number of columns. Generalizing this idea, we define the size of the matrix. Let n and p are natural numbers, then the matrix A is called n times p matrix or n times p size matrix if the array contains n rows and P columns. Let's look at another example. B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 0, 0, 0, 5, 7, 6. You see here we have 1, 2, 3 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4 columns three rows and four columns and this matrix is called three times four matrix or three times four size matrix and n times p matrix is represented as follows this notation and this one or simply this one but in general we will use this notation and here a, I, J is called the coefficient of the matrix and I, J shows the position of the element. If the number of columns is one, then the matrix is called row matrix or row vector. For example, A is one, five, zero, seven, two. This is one times five size matrix or row matrix. If the number of rows is one, then the matrix is called column matrix or column vector. For example, B is 5074. This is four times one size matrix or column matrix. If the number of columns and rows are the same, then the matrix is square matrix. For example, A is 1, 5, 3, 2, 0, 1, 4, 7, 6. This is 3 times 3 matrix. And you see here, the number of rows and columns are the same. This is square matrix. If we look at the diagonal elements, diagonal elements are 1, 0, and 6. And these elements define the vector of 1, 0, 6. And this vector is called the main diagonal of the matrix. Main diagonal. And for the main diagonal, we will use this notation. That's it. If all diagonal elements of n times n square matrix are ones, and the remaining elements are zeros, and this type of matrix is called identity matrix or unit matrix. And for identity matrix, we will use this notation, IN. 
if all coefficients of n times p matrix are zero, then this type of matrix is called no matrix. And we use this notation for no matrix. And you see here all of the elements, all of the uh, coefficients of okay, them. And you see here all of the coefficients are real numbers, but instead of real numbers, you can take any elements of uh, sets or expressions, symbols. And because of this here, I will use the notation K for complex numbers, real numbers, rational numbers, integer numbers, or natural numbers. Then we use this notation for the set of matrices of size m times n times p. And here k shows the set of coefficients. Okay, matrix operations. There are some operations over the matrices, equality of matrices matrix addition, multiplication of a matrix with a scalar, matrix multiplication, power of a matrix and binomial formula. I will explain you four of them in this uh, first four of them in this lecture and the rest of them for the next one. Let's look at equality of matrices. We say that two matrices are equal if they have the same size and the corresponding elements are equal. Example, suppose we have the matrix A is X, 1, 5, 9, Y, 3, and B is 2, 1, 5, Z, 7, 3. For what values of x, y, and z these matrices are equal? You see, first element is x is equal to 2. y is 7. y is 7. z is 9. z is 9. That's it. Let's look at matrix addition. Let A and B are two matrices of size n times P. Then the addition of these matrices is a new matrix of size n times P, whose elements are the sum of corresponding elements of A and B. You see here. Example, let A and B are two matrices compute the sum of them. Then A plus B will be V at corresponding elements. 3 plus 0, minus 2 plus 5, 1 plus 2, 7 plus minus 1 is 3, 3, 3, and 6. The result will be this. Matrix addition is associative and commutative. In a similar way, we can define the subtraction of matrices and the elements of subtraction will be the difference of corresponding elements of A and B. Example. Suppose we have two matrices A and B, calculate A minus B. Then A minus B will be 3 minus 0, minus 2 minus 5, 1 minus 2, 7 minus minus 1. It will be 3 minus 7 minus 1 and 8. And this will be our subtraction. That's it. 
OK, let's look at multiplication of a matrix with a scalar. Suppose that we have the matrix A of size n times p, then the result of multiplication of A with a scalar k will be a new matrix of the same size, whose coefficients are multiplication of coefficients of A by scalar of k. Example, suppose we have two matrices, A and B. Alpha is minus 2, beta is 3, compute alpha A plus beta B. First, I will calculate alpha A. Then, according to the definition, alpha A will be minus 2 times 3, minus 2 times 2, minus 2 times 1, minus 2 times 1, minus 2 times 0, minus 2 times 1, is minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, minus 2, 0, and minus 2. And then we calculate beta b. Beta b will be, and using the same method, it will be minus 3, 3, minus 6, minus 6, 3, and minus 9. We find alpha A plus beta B. And here we will use the sum rule for the matrices. It will be minus 6 plus minus 3, minus 4 plus 3, minus 2 plus minus 6 here, minus 2 plus minus 6, 0 plus 3, minus 2 plus minus 9. is equal to minus 9, minus 1, minus 8, and here minus 8, 3, and minus 11. It will be result. That's it. And scalar product has the following properties. And if alpha and beta are real numbers and A and B are the same size matrices, then these properties are true. Matrix multiplication. As being in numbers, we can multiply matrices. Suppose that we have two matrices, A and B, and the size of A is M times N, the size of P is N times P, then the multiplication of this matrix will be the size of M times P. You see, M times P with the following elements. The multiplication of A and B is possible if the number of columns of A and the number of rows of B are the same. If you look at this expression, and you see here, we have AI1, AI2, AIK, AIP, and these elements are the elements of I0 of A. And B1J, B2J, BKJ, and B, P, J, J's column, J's column, J's column of B. Because of this, we can say that and the coefficient I, J of matrix C is a dot product of I's row of matrix A and J's column of matrix B. Matrix multiplication is associative and distributive. 
but not commutative. You know that, for example, 4 times 5 is equal to 5 times 4. And commutativity is true for numbers, but it's not true for matrices. Let's look at this exercise. Suppose we have two matrices A and B. Let's calculate A times B. A times B. And using the definition, first I will take the first row and first column. And then we calculate the dot product of these vectors and write the result as a first element, as A11. 0 times 2 plus 2 times 0 plus minus 2 times 2. And then first row, second column. And we write result in place of A12. A12 here. 0 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus minus 2 times minus 2 and then first row times second column okay, first row dot product second column up oh, sorry third column 0 times 0 plus 2 times 0 plus minus 2 times minus 3 and then we take the second row, second row times first column. It will be A21. Second column, first row. 6 times 2 plus minus 4 times 2 plus 0 times 2. And then second row times second column 6 times 1 plus minus 4 times 1 plus 0 times minus 2 and then second row times third column it will be a 2 3 6 times 0 plus minus 4 times 0 plus 0 times minus 3 and here the result will be minus 4 6 6 and here 4 2 and 0 will be our result. That's it. And you can do the second one by yourself. Okay, that's all. Let's look at some properties of uh, sum and multiplication of matrices. A plus 0 or 0 plus A will be A. A times 0 or 0 times A will be zero matrix or null matrix. If A is a matrix of size n times B, then uh, identity matrix n size ma identity matrix times A is equal to A times P size identity matrix is equal to A. A B is equal to C. Okay, let's look at this example. Suppose we have three matrices. Let's calculate A times B and A times C. And you see both of these matrices are different. A times B will be 
first column, sorry, first row times first column will be zero times four plus minus one times five and then first call and here second row zero times minus one plus minus one times four and then the second row of a and times first row of b zero times 4 plus 3 times 5. Second row and second column. 0 times minus 1 plus 3 times 4. That's it. It will be minus 5, minus 4, 15, 12. Okay, let's calculate A times C. The first row of A times second, first row, sorry, first column of uh, C. Zero times two plus minus one times five. First row, second column. Zero times five plus minus one times um, four. Then second row times first column. 0 times 2 plus 3 times 5. Second row times second column. 0 times 5 plus 3 times 4 is minus 5, minus 4, 15, and 12. You see results are the same. From here, A times B is equal to A times C. But B is different from C. Okay, see you guys next lecture.